Hello, my name is Fiona, and I'm a certified teacher and a Praxis coach with Study.com. Are you preparing to take the Praxis 5017 exam? This exam covers multiple topics in elementary education. These practice questions cover the subtopic of math. Let's review some of the types of math instruction questions you may encounter on the exam. Let's get started. Problem number one. A digital clock reading changes from 2.45 and 55 seconds to 3.56 and 57 seconds. What is the elapsed time expressed in seconds? A. 4,262 seconds. B. 43,202 seconds. C. 722 seconds. Or D. 2,102 seconds. Let's get started. We started at 2 hours and 45. I'm going to ignore the seconds for now. And we went to 3.56. That is a difference of... So one hour and 11 minutes. Now the difference from 55 seconds to 57 seconds is two seconds. So our next step is to turn the one hour into seconds. And there are 60 seconds in every minute and 60 minutes in every hour. So we're going to multiply 60 by 60 and we get 3600. 11 minutes is 11 times 60, which is 660. And finally, our two seconds. So we have 2, 6, 12, 4, 4,262 seconds, which is A. So we can say A with confidence is our answer. Problem number two, which of the following is a prime number? What is a prime number? A prime number is a number whose factors are only one and itself. So let's go through each of these and find their factors so we can determine which one is the prime number. Let's start with 20. Factors are 1 and 20, 2 and 10, 4 and 5. So it is not a prime number. 25, 1 and 25, and then 5. It is also not a prime number. 32. 1 and 32, 2 and 16, 4 and 8, also not a prime number, 17. 1 and 17 are the only factors, so D17 is our answer. Problem number 3. If the school is assigned with coordinates 0, 0 in this figure, what will be the coordinates of the house? So the center is 0, 0, and our house is over here. So let's find where the house is on this graph. We go 1, 2, 3 in the negatives. So it's negative 3. And going upwards, let's see what it is. 1, 2, 3. And positive 3. So negative this way and this way and positive this way and this way. So negative 3 and 3 are the coordinates of our house. 
and let's find the answer there. D, negative three and three. Problem number four. What is the solution for the following linear inequality? 3x plus 17 is less than 5x plus 13. Let's begin. 3x plus 17 is less than 5x plus 13. All right, we're going to take away 13 from each side. That leaves us with 3x plus 4 is less than 5 x. Now we're going to remove 3x from each side. We have 4 is less than 2x. Now we're going to simplify this. So divide each side by 2 and we get 2 is less than x. 2 is less than x is equivalent to x is greater than 2. And so our answer is here, x is greater than 2. I hope I was able to answer your questions so that you now have a better understanding of the topics you can expect to find on the test. Please remember to like and subscribe to this channel so that with study.com's help, you will feel confident and prepared on exam day. Bye for now.